What's up, YouTube? So you know how these guys out there tell you to you can fix your CEL PO420 code? They call it the $10 fix. Ready? Here, we're going to show you your $10 fix. There it is right there. But you know what the problem was that is? It didn't what? fix fucking nothing. It actually caused more problems. What did it cause, Ryan? Caused the O2 sensor to fail? Caused the O2 sensor to malfunction. Why? Here, look. Come over here. Shine your light on the O2 sensor. You see the shiny mark on the bottom of this O2 sensor? Do you see that? You know what, ha what that's from? The O2 sensor scraping on the inside of Bottoming it? out on the inside of the... The, the, the CEL non-fouler spacer, which caused no activity on the downstream O2 sensor. Yep. So he had a cat efficiency code, right? So then they, he watched some YouTube video about putting this CEL spacer in, or maybe it was another shop. It's very possible, right? The shop could have did this too, yeah. because they don't know how to, to, to do this type of, this black magic voodoo shit, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. But you're not fixing the ultimate problem with the car. So when some PO420 happened, somebody put a, a direct fit cat on here, they probably never tuned it up, never did a GDI service. Um, they put a the manifold converter on here. It could be some junky eBay stuff that doesn't always work. Um, so now we have the car in our shop and we're, we're, we're pulling the codes out. We have a O2 sensor, secondary, uh, downstream O2 sensor that has no activity. Once we put the car in there, we see that the $10 fix created another problem, right? Yep. Which is it, it completely sealed the O2 sensor from the exhaust flow and caused uh, uh, no response from the downstream O2 sensor because it's not getting any activity from the exhaust system. So the reason why they put that on there is probably because the aftermarket cat didn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now shine the light in there. So you can see where it pressed the O2 sensor right into the bottom of that spacer. So the Voodoo Black Magic shit, you can trick the PCM with this stuff if you know how to set them up and use it right but you're not fixing the problem that caused the PO420 code. And that we require finding out, does it have bad injectors, a bad head gasket, uh, there's the intake valves, carbon, you know, so many other tune-ups, misfires, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. This is black magic. Only if your engine's prop properly, if your engine is running properly. So the $10 CEL fix created $1,500 more worth of repairs for the catalytic converters not including the underlying problem with the car, which it needs a GDI service, it probably needs a tune-up, and who knows what so. We're gonna dig into it, we're gonna put a good catalytic converter on here, we're gonna replace the downstream, and uh, we're gonna keep moving on here. But $10 CEL fix sometimes only creates more problems if you don't know what you're doing. Um, we didn't do this job, we just, we were, uh, this is sent from one of our dealerships for us to resolve it. Thanks for watching.